what will it uh, be a cost like to the taxpayer? Basically, similar information that I, sorry about that, uh, Jason Simmons, Mr. Dilley, uh, serves financial advisor for the county. Uh, based upon uh, current interest rates, uh, we're showing that the tax rate would increase. Uh, um, one cent, a little over one cent for one hundred dollars of that. Basically, was a cup of coffee. Depends on where you get your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to read this in as well? Do I have to read this as well? Good. Any other discussion? I think it's great. We have a motion and a second. Roll call? Tell them. Yes. Maswell? Yes. Bozak? Yes. Rita? Yes. Tell Yes. Graham? Yes. Rickner? Yes. Left there. And then, Mr. President, if I may, the, Jimmy, the ordinance that was included with the materials for the council, that's it just to be considered tonight. It's not to be voted on until after the commissioners approve, finally approve the bond and where right. the plan is. I just want to make sure everyone knows where we stand. The plan then is to uh, hear that, assuming the commissioners approve it on December, whatever. There's some materials open. Yeah, the plan is to introduce that tonight, and then there'll be a public hearing on the appropriation in the third meeting, and I'll approve on the third meeting. Okay. This is pretty much the same thing we passed last year. That's just right. a different number and date. Yeah. How long do you take to get out to the market if you pass December 3rd? Mm -hmm. When do you plan on, on, on getting out to the market? Um, we're planning on the bond sale December 5th. I was just, I know you said you wanted to get it done and close it, it, before it, Christmas. Yeah, yeah. as soon as you possibly could. Yeah. You know, we're going to get this yeah, right for all holiday before it gets the demand gets really high. So as soon as you approve this, we're going to have everything in place that we can sell later that week and then close the round the 23rd of December. Do you need a motion to introduce that ordinance? And it's the first ordinance on first reading. Make a motion. And that's all I can say. I make a motion to introduce ordinance 24 10 22. I second it. Is that right? Yep, that's it. We have a motion and a second to um, <coughs> your attendance. Roll call, please. For any other discussion? Any other questions? Good. Roll call, please. Stone? Yes. Maswell? Yes. Bozak? Yes. Rita? Yes. Sim? Yes. Graham? Yes. Brickner? Yes. Not a zero. Is that a zero? I believe that you need to process here. Who would be able to take proceeds just out of curiosity? Uh, they can take the money from the server point first. The money will be in the bank before you start spending. Okay. The only reason why I asked Jeremy, yeah. what we talked about out in the hallway, I had met with um, Rebecca from the prosecutor's office, and they were trying to do a, uh, an area, I think on the fifth floor of the courthouse, and so we were just trying to figure out where to get a couple dollars from, and that might be tough. It's a, Commissioner issue, so maybe if Rebecca works with um, you guys for sexual violence and uh, uh, violence victims, we're trying, they're trying to move it from 157 to. Going over there Thank you very much. So I just, the only reason why I saw that is that improvements to the courthouse, so I'm like, hmm, this might be a way to do it. It's not a lot of money. I was there today, and it's a great idea, and it definitely, definitely, definitely needs to get done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have another special presentation. Uh, Mary Jane from uh, RDC. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Governor of the Council. Uh, Mary Jane Simmons, Mayor of my name is Mary Jean Thomas. I am the um, Redevelopment Commission Project Manager. The Redevelopment Commission is obligated by law to share with you their proposed setting plan for the South East and District in 2025. Um, do you have copies of it or I have it here? We have copies of it. It's sure. about halfway through your packet on the big packet. Oh, yeah. How come there's a big? 
got two pigs. I'm a big guy. Oh, you got them all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big guy. I'm a big guy. Yeah. The uh, anticipated revenue for 2025 is $38,391. That includes unexpended trip revenues in 2024 because we only have the spring of installment. At this point, we get the following song coming up. The spending plan is proposed that infrastructure or improvements will be 75% of the uh, total gift revenue expected at $28,793. The Portage Township Schools will receive 15% or $5,759. And then the redevelopment commission, 10% for professional services, $3,839. The township program for the school is a grant program that the school will apply for once a year on or about May 30th. And there are two schools in the district that will benefit from that. They're looking at for next year supporting the robotics program. Uh, the $28,793 that's part of that or is it separate from the what you're saying about the school? Um, exactly that it is separate. It is for improvement projects within the district. Such as? Uh, it can be infrastructure, water, sewer, storm projects. Yeah, I used to live in South Haven, that's what I'm curious that needs a lot of work. Mm -hmm. There's some good people out there and I'm just wondering how it's going to help them. Thank you. So this is a recap of the current check that's in place, correct? This is not a main discussion with the No, this is an existing check. And we're required to... Just Thank you. Any other questions? Not the residential. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say yeah. the residential. I've got questions. I think we'd all, like to, we'd all like to have a little bit better of an understanding. I, I was at the meeting and I listened and I did, I did comment. Um, and like I did say, I, I'm not. I if you want us to come and do a presentation, we can certainly do that. I think, I think it would be moved, in my opinion yeah. only, it would be moved to the council to can I understand what residential tips are, how we capture money, how the developer. You know, in my opinion, why we're giving you money as developer. Well, I was going to do that before the redevelopment commission. Both time to stop it from moving forward. If, if this council had zero interest, which a few conversations showed me that there's not interest. I would like to understand the process. So, what, like, where are you guys at now? You're just talking about a residential tip, and then you guys may or may not approve it. If you approve it, then it comes to us for no approval. It doesn't come to us at all. So we're it, it goes to the commissioners for approval, and then it comes to you for approval of the bond. Of the bond. So we can stop the bond, which ultimately stops the project. If, if of course, we didn't want to. I just want to understand the process. I would agree that it would be nice to get a presentation before that. So you guys know, I mean, if, if we all say we're not for a bond, then you guys are kind of spinning your wheels, it sounds like, correct? And for me, I think there's certain use, possible uses for it, the residential tip. If there's an area that has you know, um, failing septics and somebody wants to develop and we can tie in and, and they need some money for a bigger lift station or something, I have no problem with that. You're taking care of a problem, but uh, new developments, I don't know. I just, I, again, I would love to learn a little bit more on that. Especially developments that have already begun. The one that was introduced today was the development's already happening. So where's the incentive? You know, I mean, it's it, it kind of, and again, these are half a million dollar houses being built. So why would we possibly tip a project that's already begun and one that's having half a million dollars in the, I don't know where that's a, it's not affordable housing, it's not a blight district, you know, they'd be building it anyway, that, that's just. Well, all, all housing's unaffordable, but hey, it's well, definitely unaffordable <laughs> at five, you know, at 500,000, but yeah. I, what's the time frame that we might be able to do something like that, uh, with the timing and everything that we have going on now? Well, our next RDC meeting is on the 26th of November. When is your next meeting? December 3rd. Uh, it, well, the 10th. I thought it was the 10th. I'm trying to get clarification. I asked Laura. I thought we said the 10th. What is it? It's the 3rd of the 3rd. We got a foundations meeting on the 10th. Okay. 
Yeah. We try to line it up as a foundation. Then. Yeah. Uh, I would be here for the third for the tenth. I think, I thought we agreed on the tenth, but tenth? we just need to clarify the tenth. I, I know we agreed on the intent for the foundation, but I didn't know what we agreed on for. I thought, I thought it was the keep it on the same day. I like it that you know. Hopefully next year we can get with everybody and, and kind of do that and stack the meetings up. I think it helps everybody. But yeah. what do we have joy? Well, we have that bond that they're going to ask. Oh, December third. That's why after the bond. That's why There's we a time frame issue. Yep. That's what it, that's what we had to do the third year. I just want to know, and I will not yeah. right. That's right. right. I, the bond council had suggested December 3rd. Yeah. 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 We will not leave our meeting and have a meeting with you on, on the 3rd, and then we can have our meeting after we haven't sent out notices yet. So, I just would, I just don't want to waste a lot of people's time and effort on doing this if it's going to be, you know, if this council doesn't think it's a good idea. Well, it sounds like you might go to January, though, which could be a whole new a whole couple of could be three other people. We have what? One tip in this county, because this county is sort of like never tipped, and that for redevelopment, it makes sense where it's at. Start tipping residential, I think it's just crazy. I would not support it. And hey, I don't know why we could waste people's time. I mean, there's people up here complaining about they think that we don't have money, but we're bringing a tip in area, which would hurt, you know, what comes to the county. I think it's, it's crazy. Uh, the idea is crazy to say residential. So, I, I don't know what else to worry about. I won't be here, but I wouldn't support it. So well, should I we think we are. Have, should we schedule a presentation with the council on the third? I think it's sure I won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, listen, it's, 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 if it's going to come before us, I think it, 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 we should get a presentation. And, and like I said, I'm keeping an open mind. I was at the meeting today and I had some questions. I don't care for it. I think there's some things we could do for residential tips that could make sense. This particular project didn't make sense in my mind, but again, I want to be fair and understand, you know, what the, they've put in a lot of time so you guys can understand it. So if I'm going to vote on something, I think I need to understand it. So I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I would definitely like to get a presentation understandable about it. And uh, we'll reach out to uh, if, uh, Berman. Mm -hmm. if he should be here. Yeah, okay. Sure okay. Thank you. To clarify, okay. Thank you. So our uh, next meeting will be December third. That, that's a, that'll be a meeting, not just a presentation, right? Correct. That's fine. Is good. Well, you can't be. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thirty-five. Thirty. Correct.
second? Is there a motion to second? Any discussion? Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All same sign. Motion to Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Four County Expo. A motion to approve the $10,000. We have a motion and a Second, Sylvia? Yeah. Yeah. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Rita? Yes. Seven. Yes. Graham? Yes. Ritner? Yes. Stone? Yes. Nasquist? Yes. 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 Form 144, $26.17 an hour. What? Sorry. Right, this was in your plan, right? That you had, you had talked about earlier. I just, I wanted, yep, that's what I thought. So I just I wanted to make sure. So. Actually, it was not. Okay. okay. It happened since the time I started the budget process. It happened in between um, the bridge crews, uh, formed by six individuals, the foreman, the assistant foreman, and four drivers. One of the drivers has been uh, being mentored to be an equipment operator, and we think it's time that he get promoted, not promoted, yeah, promoted to that position. We do have the money in our account, we don't need an appropriation or anything. Yeah, I would say that for those guys to listen to this. Motion to approve the low 44 change. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Yes. Yes. Graham. Yes. Rickner. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 You say aye. Oh, we do. I make a motion for the $5,000. Aye. 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 I'll second it. Motion and second on the transfer. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Hmm. Sheriff. Uh, reduction. Motion to approve the $15,000 reduction. Second. second. Have a motion and second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Graham. Yes. Yeah. Brickner? Yes. Stone? Yes. 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 Only $29,000 in the car. What is this under the car? You can't tell me it's under the car. You can't be too nice. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All same sign, motion carries. Uh, Sheriff's Garage General Fund, we have an additional 25000 Correct. I'm reading this right. Yep, 25000 auto truck and equipment. Move to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second on the additional. Any discussion? All, uh, roll call, please. No. Yes. As well. Yes. Call that. Yes. Raven. Yes. Yes. Graham. Yes. Brickner. Yes. Seven zero. Motion to approve the same fund. Sheriff Charles McGrath. The transfer is five hundred five hundred three thousand. Second. 
Can we do all these at once? Yeah. All the transfers? All three of them. No? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, we have a motion. Did I hear a second? Yep. Yes, I did. Second. second on the transfers. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Both in sign. Motion carried. Motion and a second on the transfer to the jail. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Cold same sign. Motion carries. We have additional uh, data process. Motion to approve this at that and our Second. We have a motion and a second for the additional. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Aspen. Yes. Bozak. Yes. Rebus. Yes. Tim. Yes. Graham. Yes. Tom. 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 Yes.
Does the voter turnout dependent upon this? I mean, I'm not. I'm oh, you're, you're inside the. Oh, I'm I'm inside. Oh. The, I'm sorry. Here, just says. Yeah, in anticipation for what we expect the time to be, we program everything we have. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you wouldn't have used them all. Correct. So we're saying, I gotcha. Okay. And it's expectations are. Not, I mean, uh, high yeah, turnout. Yeah, we're having um, turnout that um, right and that's in that just fine. And that's like a record year, on it. Can I ask a question that's in regards to the program? There's been claims on Facebook, and I think you guys have answered them, but votes are being changed, and it's kind of, is that people making mistakes at the machines? I just wanted to clarify. Correct, voter error. Any other questions? We have a motion and a second. Uh, uh, roll call, please. Stone. Yes. Vasquez. Yes. Rosa. Yes. Grievous. Yes. Yes. Grant. Yes. 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 Motion to approve the board transfer $10,000 overtime, $4,350 tax keyboards, $1,734 tax keyboards, $1,000 tax keyboards. Second. We have a motion and second on the transfer. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Uh, Mr. Rosa, do you have any comments on the transfer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Both saying sign. Motion carries. Uh, recycling. We have the uh, modification of two job descriptions. Yes, just two simple job descriptions. You realize that our public relations coordinator, um, there's always been a line that they always been our event planner for Earth Day, and when we went through the wage, for some reason that line was left off, so we're just adding to make a modification. No change of pay, no change of anything, just adding the wording that's already been on the job description. For some reason, we just left it off of that um, description. So we were told that we had to come to the council to have that modification made. I'll second. Is this in preparation of them getting payroll changes, or is it just being up? It's just, I don't know how we ever look at it. So it's always been part of the Earth Day. This position has always been the Earth Day planner. So we had a case that we rehired it in Earth Day, or excuse me, we had to rehire our care coordinator this year, and we realized, oh, why wasn't that in the job description? So well, that's been changed monetarily. No, nothing. Nothing. Any other questions? I just got my question. You're boarding this to HR also, correct? I was going to ask you what the next steps were. Yes. Okay. We have to go to HR and ourselves. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. We have a motion and a second on this job modification. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All right. All those same sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. Next one for now is on a uh, utility worker position. We have expanded uh, food waste. So in our current job description, it says uh, collecting batteries, collecting some detectors, already doing it. So we have expanded our food waste program. We're just adding more to expand food waste from the same job description. Mr. President, I make a motion we add uh, food waste. Second. Job okay. description. Second. Can you explain that a little bit? Okay, so what do you mean they collect food waste from where? Um, so we've been doing our pilot program for the past two years. It's currently for, um, completely volunteer run. So we've done it this year for the operator of the market. So on Tuesdays, we literally have um, a crew of volunteers to stop at East German. I am literally right outside this building, right in the final um, drop off. People can drop their food scraps, vegetable scraps, um, to keep it out of the landfill and keep it out of the trash. So we're just adding it into a uh, program where we extend it to locations. Um, so we're traveling to see another location where it can be composted and break down into the photo amendment. Are you looking to expansion of restaurants as well? Or? We're starting very pilot. We're doing very small residential programs. Okay. Any other questions? We have a motion and a second on the vote. Yes. On the uh, food waste. Yeah, I have a question on food waste. Can you take it to the present? Um, yeah, about right with Apple right now. Right. Yeah, we're currently. Is it a brick? No, no, no. It is um, currently.
currently, we are currently doing pilot programs where we're keeping and we have some agreements with a private landowner. We have agreements with um, the local Rainbow Purchase Program. So there's a small area where we're collecting it and, and maintaining it and then putting And they're accepting this for free? Absolutely. Uh, that's the price I want to hear. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there any uh, inkling of, to use our county parks too? Maybe uh, using the Falco parks? Yep, like I said, this, we just started this as a pilot program, so the pilot program started with the local parks department because of our current location, so we did it on the cheapest day at the market, and it literally is um, carded. We actually have a volunteer who a bike rides it over to one of the park locations, so you might see him with a bike and a trailer um, hauling food waste, and um, actually today he was there collecting right in front of um, Greeks or Manny's. So um, it is a very popular demand. We have actually continued the program through the winter, and we will even be actually work collecting at the Bunker Center right now. So, good. So, so bikes are used to speak. All those in favor? Want to see if you can pass it? I'm sorry. All those in favor? I agree. All those in favor signify by saying I will. Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Health Department. Form 144, 150,000 to 75,000. I have a question on this one. I have a question on this one, real quick. Um, I talked about it earlier at the three o'clock with the raise, the three percent raise. Um, is this gentleman that we've already negotiated with going to get the raise? And if not, I'd like to either table it, amend it, or whatever, because I I can't see us getting a raise. Uh, guy coming right into a job and getting a three percent raise. It was calculated in it, but you can always change it after the first of the year. So we can change it down, calculate it in, and then back it out. And back it out. So so you're going to be doing this back in January anyways to amend yep. that, right? Because yeah. yeah. the budget is going to go down yeah. seventy five thousand. Yeah. So we can always take care of that in January. But you have like we can reduce it right now by three percent and call it a day. Decrease and then call it a day. Just be aware though that our last pay period as part of December 2024 and so he will have that 3% on there. Not that I'm okay with that, but I think I'm okay with that. It's going to be the increase. Uh, you have to see it, but you have to work here, so you're not going to get the raise. Okay. That's not bad. Adam just throwing it up. Mm -hmm. That's not fair, man. What the, What's the number? Oh, uh, seventy-five thousand dollars minus three percent. Who's doing that? No, no, I'd be seventy-five thousand. Seventy-five thousand plus. Seventy-five thousand plus. Yeah. 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 Y
Is there a motion and a second on all three? Yes, I want this. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those in favor sign. Motion carries. All three. Have a good night. All right. Uh, now we are ready for a uh, second reading. This is hereby given to the taxpayer support of county that the following adjustments have been made to the 2024 fund for the general fund hourly reduction of 10,000 at the keyboard, 12,000 to the actual 34,050 dollars, internet and telephone 5,000, other equipment reduction of 15,000, auto truck and supplies 25,000, park capital fund other equipment. $5,000. Expo Center, contractual $10,000. Drug Task Force, motor vehicles $29,000. Data Processing Fund, other supplies $7,000. Inmate Processing, other supplies $3,000. RDTV, Interfund Transfer $25,000. Second reading. Okay. Any discussion on the second reading? Motion over. Second. We have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Rita. Yes. 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 So people can start measuring for that type of phone call time. Um, what the process is going to be. So take a peek at that. And then the other thing is, okay. Um, all right. The this is how. Uh, um, the website will be available to see the general. I mean, the website's up now, but from January 1st to January 31st, the application process will be available, so people can apply for the funds. Okay. Then February will be the month for the committee to review all the applications. March will be the month for public meetings regarding those applicants that apply and are selected as possible award winners. And then the applicants will be uh, scored, ranked. An announcement for the final recommendations will be somewhere around the middle of March, early April, and then after final choices are made by the committee, then they'll be presented to both the commissioners and the council for final approval. So, no matter what the council or what the committee does, if the, the council is going to be the yes or no whether they get the money or not, and the uh, the idea is to give up to 125,000 per year, and up to five applications can be accepted. So twenty five thousand is max is what you're telling them? No, not necessarily. One might get say seventy five thousand and others might get five or whatever. It's just up to hundred and twenty five thousand. That can fluctuate depending on the need and yeah. Does that, that leave us any money? I'm sorry? Does that leave us any money to oh, yes. other things like there's also a cushion, absolutely. So it doesn't doesn't delete anything. Uh any, any more, whatever. So if something comes up and we want to use it, that that's up to us the discretion. What about if, <coughs> so if uh, different departments in the county they need to come apply as well, right? Correct. So we need to make them aware of that if they want to get this money, they need to apply. Absolutely, to yes. The, uh, all entities, you know, nonprofits, uh, government agencies, all that stuff are, are able to. And, um, you know, the, through our, our committee, matching is, is going to be heavily uh, thumbs up. You know, we give 20 and that goes to 40, that's outstanding. So, but um, but yeah, that's the that's the latest update as of right now. So you're all yeah up to speed. Thank you. That's all. Awesome. Okay. I have a question. There was a meeting over at the uh, Expo Center for the whole Peoria group recently. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I found out. I found out about it. What's the like, They had people from the uh, health department there and other places. Okay. And. Uh, I said, why, why, why weren't we invited? You know, so I had a citizen call me tell me that was going on. That was like, what time is it over? It goes about five minutes. So, you know, it's... Uh, well, but we're just a committee for people to come and ask us for money. We're not, you know... Well, but we should have been there and 
sort of advertised the fact that we were there. Well, that would have been yes. You know, you're right. You're right. That's all. Are are you doing any advertising at all? Yeah, well, we're going to reach out all the trustees and all the, you know, the health department is going to pop it out. I mean, all, all the avenues that we have available right now. And the next week I'll be wearing a sandwich. That's true. Cardinals. Yes, walking through downtown. Yeah, yeah. Did the and trustees get opioid money as well? I'm sorry? Did the trustees get opioid settlement money too? No. It was no. just the cities, towns, and the us, the county? Correct. Correct. Any other questions? Very good. Do uh, any other council members have anything for good in order? Um, the only thing I wanted to bring up was, I don't know if you got it yet, the letter with the director of veterans. I know he's running a little oh, bit short. Yeah. I think we're going to have to address that at our December 3rd meeting. And I think hopefully, God willing, Ryan, Karen might already have a, a hopefully a solution for it. So just put that in your radar because if we don't approve it, then I think you might delay one or two people. No, I put an additional for five thousand dollars on this. Yeah, that's what right. December meeting. That's what I wanted to. Well, I didn't want to just do it. I wanted. You might to run sure. out before, then that's the problem. Right. But I think we well, need to be. Well, we're maybe being able to move some stuff around. I like that. And I agree. No, I just I, I think, think we need to be aware. Well, now that these department heads need to understand when you're asking for an increase. And you're not asking to increase the line item in your budget. That means you're operating. That you have the money in your budget. Right. Because I'm not looking at me as soon as right. you're yeah. going to operate from that fund. Because there have been quite a few people that have asked for part time in the interest that have not asked for that just yet. So I just want to make sure he understands oh, that. Because if you do that, you got to ask for that extra. So it's not a big amount. No, it's a ground check. I believe he understands what he's asking now. I'll make a motion to give the uh, auditor authority to make the appropriate transfer and to get right to the next meeting. Second. 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 There's a motion of the second to give the board of appeal office to make any necessary transfers to make sure that veterans are successful. Can we do that? Motion and second tonight to do this. Yeah. Time. Yes. Okay. Uh, just a roll call or all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion to sign. Motion carries. Thank you. Okay. And can you just give maybe through an email clarification when the next meeting is? It's the December 3rd. There's some things that we're trying to reach out to. Um, Capital cities to see if they can come on the 10th. I mean the 3rd. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. You got that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, we have the attorney before. He does have something he wanted to say, though. I'd rather not. Motion to adjourn. We do have to offer a public comment. Oh, yeah. Public comment. I'm sorry. My head is really good. Get ahead of you. We've got a full house. Public comment. Uh, I'm going to close, unless there's anything else, I'm going to close this meeting and open for public comment. And wait for the public like to come up. Yeah, Once, yeah. twice. Uh, uh, public, public comment. Public comment. Public comment. Public comment. <laughs> close. Now we, <laughs> now we have uh, an attorney's report. I, I just wanted to raise one, or just bring something up. At the yeah. last meeting, it was pretty contentious, which is, you know, that happens in, in, in this business. Um, I had re-reviewed the video of the meeting because I needed some clarification for some things, and there was, uh, and it happens, uh, some talking over of one another, and, and, and there also was raised at the last meeting the issue of calling a question, and, and uh, it, it started, started me thinking after uh, talking with uh, Madam Monitor as well, because uh, she had a, a helpful sort of cheat sheet on uh, Robert's rules of order that she had given to me. And uh, so I, I just wanted to lay out a couple of things. Since I've been here, which has been like seven years, maybe thereabouts, the, the council has always informally relied upon Robert's rules of order, which is, yeah. you know, it's, it's, a 700, it's 700 pages. It's just unwieldy. Uh, and uh, but I, I had Joy look after the last meeting to see if we had, if the council had ever formally adopted Robert's rules, because by statute the council can adopt rules to govern its proceedings. 
Um, she wasn't able to find one. It, it, it really doesn't matter that we, we haven't adopted it, um, but we've been informally or roughly following it uh, since, you know, as, as long as I can remember. Uh, the, the problem is, is like I said, it, it is unwieldy. And I, I, you know, I'm an attorney and I look at this and I, my head spins. And uh, so I had, I did some research and the company that, it, that prints the, the official Roberts rules, they have a Robert Rules or Robert Rules for dummies? It's official, and that's basically what it is. Oh, okay. And I will tell you that it's very, I, I, it's very helpful. And I, so I bought copies for everyone. I was looking to do today. I guess well, I'm the first dummy. Well, then, well and, and, and for me too. I, you know, and my point is, is I think it's for everyone to consider before you know J January meeting to determine whether the council wants to, as a body, adopt those revised rules. Now, would that be under the yellow book or the black book? It would be under the the, the yellow book. <laughs> that, that's the revised rules. So basically you're saying we're not smart enough to read the black book. Well, well, I, I, I don't think we're going to read the black book. I can tell you that right now. Uh, right here, a uh, motion to adjourn. <laughs> 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 okay, so, I don't know. I was joking. No, no. Thanks, Carol. I just wanted to be aware of that and to you consider it before <laughs> next year's. I think that's a good idea. Uh, we all do know that this is Harold's Christmas gift. Yes, that's all the anything else in the <laughs> Well, it's kind of nice. It says, you know, if you're only reading the whole book, it only takes 90 minutes. You know, once you write it together, you know, it's okay. Uh, well, it's, 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 it, it is, the, the problem that I see is, is we are, as a body, we do have to have some rules for how we proceed. And it's been informal and has worked well ever since I've been here. Um, but I, I I think we're at the point in time where it's not a bad idea to formalize that or at least start to consider that as a possibility. Um, because this is just, uh, in, a, in, in my opinion, an impossibility to try to digest and, and, and follow exactly. And so when I saw this revised, uh, basically, it's, it's, as Mr. President said, it's uh, Robert's Rules for Dummies, and it, it's official, and I think it's very helpful, and I just wanted to bring it down. Will there be a test later? <laughs> that, that's up to everybody on that, <laughs> everybody else. <laughs> Open the so we yeah. Motion to adjourn. I'm sure it takes precedent. I've done it. second. Does this require a two-thirds vote or a majority? Let's refer to the vote. Are you going to be our problem? Aye. Aye. I haven't even got the